In English, gerunds are a type of verb form that function as nouns. They are formed by taking a verb and adding ing. Hi, welcome to English Academy 101. My name is Michael, and I'm here to help you with your English learning journey. Today, we are going to learn about gerunds. First, we will look at them when they are the subject of a sentence. Next, we will look at them when they are the direct object of the sentence. After, we will look at them when they are the subject complement of the sentence. Additionally, we will look at them when they are the object of a preposition. Then, we will look at them when used after certain expressions. Next, we will look at some common verbs used with gerunds. Lastly, we will look at the differences between gerunds and infinitives. If you would like to skip ahead to any part in today's lesson, we have added video chapters below that you can select. Subject The gerund form of verbs is used when it is the subject of a sentence. For example, learning English is easy. Playing video games is my favorite thing to do. Swimming is my favorite hobby. Direct object. The gerund form of verbs is used when it is the direct object of a sentence. For example, I like eating ice cream. She loves swimming in the pool. They like going to the movies. Thanks for watching. But before we continue, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as it really helps us create more great English content for you. Subject Complement The gerund of verbs is used when it is the subject complement. For example, my dog's favorite hobby is sleeping. One of their responsibilities is cleaning the dishes. Their favorite activity is swimming in the lake. Object of a preposition. The gerund of verbs is used when it is the object of a preposition. For example, the teacher said that she would be interested in hearing your excuse as why you are late to class. I was interested in running a marathon. She is thinking of changing his job. After certain expressions. The gerund form of verbs is used when it is after certain expressions such as it's no use, it's no good, there's no point in. For example, it's no use cleaning the floor, it is only going to get dirty again. It's no good only trying a little bit, you will never succeed. There's no point going back. A few common verbs used with gerunds. Admit. I admit making a mistake. Advice. I advise not doing that. Anticipate. She anticipates having to study a lot for the tests. Began. They began eating at 4 p.m. Delay. I delayed studying for the exam. Enjoy. He enjoys eating ice cream. Keep. They keep running stop signs. Love. We love running in the rain. Prefer. I prefer sleeping on the left side of the bed. Recommend. They recommend trying the appetizer. Suggest. I suggest studying hard for the test. Gerunds versus infinitives. It can be confusing to understand when to use gerunds versus infinitives. Infinitives are the TO form of a verb. The easiest way to remember the difference between the two is, gerunds are used with completed, fixed, and real actions. Infinitives are used with future, abstract, and unreal actions. For example, he stopped smoking is a gerund because it is a completed real action. In other words, the act of smoking was real until he stopped. 
while he stopped to smoke is an infinitive because it is a future action. In other words, he was doing something else, stopped, and has not yet started smoking. If you would like some more practice with gerunds, check out our website, EnglishAcademy101.com, where we've included some additional exercises. We've included a link in the description below. That's it for now. Don't forget to keep studying your English.